This dynamic graphite and ink drawing was made around 1915 by the British artist Helen Sanders, who was a member of the Fortisist movement. Formed in London in 1914, the Fortisists were an avant-garde group which aimed to express the dynamism of the modern world. Creating semi-abstract and abstract compositions, Fortisist works of art were often derived from machines and the urban environment. The movement, however, was short-lived, as it was brought to an abrupt end by the First World War. This drawing by Sanders, one of the only two female artists included in the Fortisist group, is testament to the art of the movement. Using black lines and forms, she created an expressive composition with hard angles and an overlap of trapezoid shapes. She added a variety of tone by incorporating hatching and cross-hatching lines. Close looking reveals that she did not draw it freehand. Subtle graphite lines, especially visible in the lower half of the image, indicate that she must have carefully planned her composition in an underdrawing. While it might be tempting to identify objects in this drawing, it seems to be entirely abstract. In a letter in 1962, Sanders elaborated on her abstract works that shapes and their relationships have a meaning of their own apart from any literary or representational overtones. Sanders made this drawing while designing an illustration for the second issue of Blast, the short-lived magazine of the Fortisists. Only two editions were ever published. The first one in July 1914, containing the movement's manifesto, and the second a year later, in 1915. While both editions were written primarily by the painter and writer Wyndham Lewis, co-founder of the Fortisists, Sanders submitted various illustration designs for both issues. Despite the fact that only two issues of the magazine were ever published, Blast has been recognised as a seminal text of pre-war British modernism. This Fortisist composition by Helen Sanders is part of a group of drawings by the artist that was acquired in recent years by the Courtauld Gallery through a gift by Bridget Pepin, who was Sanders' first cousin twice removed. This generous donation enables new research into this groundbreaking female artist who was among the first in Britain to work in a non-figurative style.